What's up, Nation family? It's your boy, Barry, the CEO, back with another banger. Today, in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is customizing my Splatterball SRB 400. You dig what I'm saying, bro? That's what we got going on. You dig? So you're gonna wanna stick around to the end. And guess what? It's not just a normal customization. I'm hydro dipping the Splatterball SRB 400, baby. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, and comment down below. Cause you might have a chance to get shout out in the next video. You dig what I'm saying, man? Now, nah, without further ado, let's get into the demolition. So, as y'all can see, man, I got the, the back off. Got this off. Got this off. Got all of the screws disconnected, man. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 10, 11, 12 screws. And you got a couple of screws on top that you gotta take off. These should be the last screws holding this thing together, man. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead on and get them, get these last two screws taken off, bro. Uh, Y'all just bear with me, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's see, you know what I'm saying? How this hydro dip splatter ball come out, bro. I got a feeling it's gonna be legendary. Make sure when you're doing it, man, you do not lose your screws, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's go, baby. It's up, man. I've been wanting to do this video, but I finally got all the products I needed <coughs> to get this thing. Yep, they come off like that. They come off like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I finally got all the products needed. You see that? Look, I pop. Pop it open like that. Another screw hole right here was underneath that uh that scope. Not scope, but sights. Let's see, that might be all of them right there. Thing. See, oh, I don't want to lose no parts now. Don't, don't, don't lose no parts, so look. Let's see, come on, baby. Where you at? Oh, yeah. I got that thing taken apart, bro. Let's go, man. I think get this thing hydro dip, baby. See, got both sides. Take it off, got the sights. Drop in the comments below if you think you know the colors that I'm about to go with on this cuff. Now I got this thing broke open and I found out that there are some more screws that I need to deattach in order to um, have just the shell to uh, go ahead on and hydro, hydro, hydro dip, just the shell. You dig what I'm saying? I don't want to mess up the, the inner workings of this here, this here blaster, man. So let me get these here taken out. One right there, another one right here, another one right there. Yeah, they got them attached to the shell. So let me get that taken out, man. Boom, I got the, the pipe. Uh, for the barrel dis disassemble and I'm gonna go ahead on and take Take that out man. This is the gun actually, bro. That's cool. Oops That's no problem We take care of that. You hear me? So I just got the shell now. So let's get it, baby Step by step one thing at a time Yes, yes, yes Got the gun out like I said, so I'm gonna go ahead on and attach the shell because this the main part that I'm going to be hydro dipping is the shell of the gun. And I'll be painting the uh, other accessories in different color. You dig what I'm saying? So let me get the shell put together. You dig what I'm saying, bro? And hopefully this thing come together fire like I got in my mental. It's your first time hydro dipping. As you know, should know that you need primer to prepare 
whatever it is you hydro dipping and you need your paint. And guess what? Today we going with black and yellow, black and yellow. You dig what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm gonna have the, the shell of the gun gonna be yellow and black. And the, the outside aesthetics of it gonna be yellow uh, accents on it, man. So let's see, man. I got the water getting ready right now in the container that I'm gonna be so using. So now I'm about to get everything, all the extras primed down and the body primed before I could do the hydro dip, you know what I'm saying? To make the, the paint stick, you know what I'm saying? To, so I'm gonna have, like I say, all this about to get primed up and the clip, baby. So let's get into it, man. I just wanna see right now shout out to all my new subscribers man we on the road to 30k baby i appreciate all the love and support you know what i'm saying the comments uh good and bad man you know i appreciate it you know what i'm saying we we on our way man you know just trying to keep good good content coming back to back to back to back to you guys man if y'all think we should drop some merch once we hit 50k which is the next goal after we hit 30k drop it in the comments man give me some merch ideas man let's go man give me some good merch ideas bro you know what i'm saying because we in this for the long haul baby we're not going nowhere we in this for the long haul you feel me Shout out to y'all, man. Y'all the realest, bro. Y'all, y'all know that uh, YouTube got YouTube stories now, man. I do post on YouTube stories, man. I do post on there, so y'all check out my YouTube stories, man. Your boy real active on those also. Follow me on all social media platforms. Guess what? I got my TikTok back. I was banned, bro. Barry the CEO got his TikTok back, baby. We had 255K followers on there. We had got banned for no reason, man, but we got it back, baby. Thank goodness, bro. It was a lot of fighting and emails that I had to submit to get it back, but I got it back, bro. And guess what? We on a roll, bro. We're on the road to one million on that, bro. Straight up. Straight like now that. that y'all see, I got everything primed up, baby. Let it dry is the next step, baby. Let this dry. And then we going to the hydro dip station, baby. You dig what I'm saying? Now, let's go check on the water. So, guys, got some hot water. I'm going to add to this water. Then I'm going to... Uh, and my paint colors, and we're gonna get this thing hydro dip, baby. See what I'm saying? I hope it come out right, bro. That didn't do too much. Yeah. So now I gotta add the paint. So they say make sure your paint is warm, so I had it sitting in the sun. So I've been having my paint sitting in the sun to make sure it's warm. So, check it out. Let me spray the top of the water with the paint. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go with my, my black layer first. Come closer. Let's go with the dip, man. 
Oh my god. <laughs> it seemed like a disaster, yo. What y'all think, man? Oh no. <laughs> it was a disaster, yo. <laughs> oh my god. I tried to do the hydro dip, but it just didn't do, man. Oh my god, bro. So we're gonna let this thing, we're gonna let it dry for the next couple days probably. And we're gonna get back and see. See what it do, man. I mean, we tried, bro. Look at this thing, it's all clumpy and stuff, bro. I think they didn't tell me the right thing to do on the videos that I watch of the hydro dipping, man. This thing is clumpy <laughs> like a, a monkey, man. That's cold blooded, huh? <laughs> Let's see, bro. I'm completely embarrassed of what happened to the uh, hydro dipping of my Splatterball SRB 400. It didn't go as planned. Um, I mean, sometimes things like that happen, man. <laughs> you know, Thomas, if you can give any advice on how I can hydro dip my uh, Splatterball gun and it comes out right, bro. This was a, a complete, complete disaster, bro. Like I said, I'm embarrassed and I'm shamed, but, uh, you know, it was a trial and error. This is my first time doing a, a hydro dipping. I looked at a lot of different videos to try to do a hydro dipping, you know, and I followed the steps as much as I've seen on on uh, on other channels that does hydro dipping. And this this is what happened, man. It was a complete disaster, a disaster, dog. And I'm I'm so sorry, y'all, that it didn't come out right, man. And I feel like I wasted a perfectly good uh, splatterball gun, man. But I'm gonna uh, try to see if I can touch it up or something like that. And uh, I'm gonna post it in the community on the, as a post on the community page. And you know, once I get it, uh, I mean, look at it, bro. The paint drip, just big splatters and drips all over. It's not like, but. Like I said, it's not completely dry right now. Once it dry, I'm gonna go ahead on there. I'm gonna post it on the community as a community post that way y'all can see the finished product. Uh, but it's gonna take about a week to dry because it's that chunky and clunky on it, man. But man, if this y'all first time tuning into the channel, man, it's your boy Barry, the CEO, man. Make sure y'all hit the subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, and. Holla at your boy in the comments, man. We keep it authentic. We keep it, keep it real. We keep it positive, man. And I'm out.